What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Mirror 4. Today, I want to go over the Siege Eve event. I know some people are a little bit confused about what's going on. So I want to let you guys know, you know, what you need to be doing, what you need to farm, and, you know, how long you have, and how many of these boxes you can actually get. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. And as you can see here, I am on my alt, mainly because I farmed up the items on my main already and already opened the boxes. So I figured, let me go ahead and do something on my alt just to kind of show you guys what to do. So as you can see here, I am farming some mobs at level 25, and I'll be honest with you, I did leave this sitting for a couple hours, um, so I don't know exactly how long it took to, to farm, but the drums can drop from any mob that's within 20 levels of your level, and the drums is what you need in order to cheer in the event. So this is the event screen here, it's the Castle Siege Eve, this is going to happen once a month before each siege, and here you can see we've got right now 5 days, 5 hours left. This lasts for a total of six days. Um, so this started at like five days, 23 hours uh, when they started counting down. And as you can see here, we currently have like 14,000 cheers on the server. Um, essentially, what you need to do is loot these drums. And you need 10 drums to do a cheer. And you can get up to 60 cheers. Well, each of those cheers is going to get you one of these loot boxes. Now, if don't worry, whatever you choose... The loot is the same in both boxes. It doesn't matter which one you get. So you vote how you want to vote. Now, like I said, you're limited to 60, but you're also limited to 10 per day. So once you get 10 in a day, you can't do any more that day. So let's say you don't do this the first day, you do it the second day, you're, you're missing out on those first 10 chests. And these chests are pretty good. We're going to show you in a minute. So the drums, like I said, to get the drums, you can farm mobs that are within 20 levels of yourself. So right here, I'm on level 25 mobs. I just sat on here, hit these, and collected my drums. I don't know when I hit 100, but I hit 100. It will limit you to 100, which I'm glad of because it was quite annoying to see the little message pop up all the time. I haven't even quite figured out how to turn that off, if we can turn it off. But I got tired of seeing that message pop up, and I thought we were just going to end up keep farming these the whole time, and then the rest of them disappear. No, it looks like you can only pick up 100 a day, which I, I like that they did it like that. So, once you have your drums, you can do it 10 at a time. Like You collect 10 drums, go ahead and do a cheer, or you can do it all in one time like this. So here, I'm going to go ahead and just do all 10 at one time. So we need 100 uh, drums. I have 100 drums, and for the heck of it, I'm just you know trying to balance it out, because who knows who's going to be on what side. I'm just going to cheers for the defense. So that does that. I get 10 defensive kingdom coffers. And as you can see here, this is now red. This is red because we cannot do any more. Now, this will does not reset at the reset time. It's very important. This event is based on the server time, not the reset time. So on the server time, this resets every day at 0, 0. So at midnight server time, 0, 0, 0, 0. And that's when this is going to reset. So you need to do this. You know before that time hits and then it's going to reset and you can collect your 100 again and do it again and you can do that for up to six days so 60 of these boxes is pretty nice before i open the boxes let's see if there's anything else we need to cover on this just so you guys understand what this does is it's giving a buff to whatever team gets the most cheers in the um siege so in the siege they'll have a three percent all attack boost and a three percent all attack reduction so that's what this is for um, of course, this first war, we don't know who is who because there's no one on defending the castle. It's, it's starting with two brand new clans. So the top two bidders are who are going to be able to get in the war. After that, the defense will always be the same. It'll be whoever owned the siege for that month. So you'll know whether or not you want to cheer for the defense or you want to cheer for whoever is going to go against them. You know, so that's what that is. Um, and the defense is the one who they hold. They're trying to hold the sea, hold the castle for the next month. So that is, you know, that covers what's going on here. I would do a separate video on the siege to try to explain that a little bit more. Um, I might do a series of videos because there is a lot of information there. But that's it for this. Um, so make sure you're doing this every day. Make sure you collect your drums and collect all ten of your boxes and go ahead and open them up. And let's talk about some of the items that you can get inside of them. So as you can see here. I now have, where are they? Oh yeah, they're epic items. My 10 boxes, if you view components, these are the items you can get. You get bigger pills, you know, speed up tickets, energy, copper, um, rare oil, rare, rare snow stuff, um, this divine water, 
You can get magic squares, secret peak tickets, nor salt, nor salt, soul or herbs. I can't never say that. Always gets me tongue tied. So mystic enhancement crystals. You get some epic potions. You get if you get a summon ticket, you'll get three of them in one box. So if you hit that, you'll get three. Then you have these kingdom codex badges, and these are kind of important because what happens is you can get these buffs for the basically the duration period of the siege, well siege eve to the next siege eve. So if we go to codex real quick, I'll show you guys what these look like. In here, you can register those items for different blessings, which are different buffs. Again, it goes from 22 to the 18th of December, pretty much a month of buffs if you can get these. Now, there's tradable ones that they can be sold on the market. So that's how you can kind of fill this out even more. But there's quite a few different things here. Me personally, I would like to go for, you know, the experience, maybe the lucky, um, definitely the monster attack damage for farming. And I, I would like the evade and accuracy as well. So that's what we're going for here. Um, I mean, you can choose what you want, but that, that to me is like the biggest things. I mean, some of these others still are gonna be nice, but you need a lot more of the items. So let's go ahead and see what we get on my alt here. Hopefully nothing too good because my main didn't get anything too good. I didn't even get any of the codex items on my main. So we're gonna open all 10 here so you guys can see how this goes. Boom. So I end up with 200,000 copper. 50,000 energy, two uh, vigor, some of these uh, potions, the rare divine water. I got a 30% XP potion. That's pretty nice to grab out of there. We got three skill tome tickets. That's pretty nice. We got a speed up, some rare oil, and uh, a secret peak ticket. Not bad at all. So can't really complain. And like I said, you're going to get this six times during the week. So make sure you're doing this every day. You do not want to miss out on these items. Even if you get something like this, this is still really good. I mean, it's just, it's free stuff. Come on, guys. You, you, you got to love what they're adding to the game. All this new content is is awesome. So that covers Siege Eve and the drums. That's what you do with them. If you have any left in your bag, which you shouldn't, because it, they, you're limited to get what you can use. Uh, if you end up having any in your bag, they're going to disappear after the event's over. So that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. If you're liking the videos, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, not sure why you're not, just hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on so you know whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys for all the support. I'll catch you in the next video.